What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Gmaya's World. And I've been getting so many raging tweets uh, on Facebook. You guys told me that you guys are disgusted on Instagram, all at Gmaya's World. You guys are using every outlet to let me know that EA really messed up with this Derrick Henry card. I, I can't lie, bro. Like, listen, you guys know I'm going to tell you the truth. I agree. I agree. They did this card very, very dirty. As far as the signature series goes, um, I understand that the Kansas City Chiefs were able to isolate what that monster is of Derrick Henry, and they were able to, you know, go ahead and beat the Titans. But you got to understand what that man was able to accomplish. And that's what's very, very hard uh, to do for these type of things is to really give these guys their due. And, um, you know, looking at Derrick Henry's card right now, it really aggravates me. Um, this guy right here, I don't know why he's that expensive. That just seems stupid. But th this card aggravates my soul because EA had a lot of opportunity to make this card a lot better. I'm gonna go ahead and point some things out because I know a lot of you guys invested in it. And I told you guys, I would wait it out because sometimes EA does whatever they want and it just doesn't turn out to be the right thing. Now for my team, because he has a power up, he would be 96 speed, 99 carrying. He would have like a 94 break tackle with the John Madden coach and um, some of the other abilities that I have uh, with chemistries, but he still wouldn't be good enough. I wanna point out something also. When Derek Henry stiff arms you, it's like the hand of God, okay? So I don't see why they wouldn't just give him a 99 stiff arm. Like, give him something with, with 99 as, as, like, something to, like, kind of show, like, all right, yo, okay, this dude did his thing. He did whatever he wanted. Let's give him something that's crazy. I don't understand for the life of me what this card is all about. So I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't like how they presented this card. I know that they're going to probably give him another card later, but I just don't think that in this type of you know, week to week time where you're doing it, even if they were to say, you know, we already had it, uh, you know, done already, you still can fix this because we've seen them play around with the attributes before on cards. So, you know, it's really no excuse for this. Um, do I recommend going after this card? I absolutely do not. Simply because, let me just explain something again to you guys. If you were gonna spend the money to start powering up Derrick Henry, let's just say you're not a Titan theme team. If you're a Titan theme team, you're going crazy right now because you're gonna get him up to like a 98 speed. He's gonna be running like the devil with like Hellboy, bro. Just running around like an absolute maniac with a, a Titan theme team. But for most of us, we don't have Titan theme teams. So he won't be that monster. And just to point out um, a point of order with that situation, the, the speed attribute is one of those things that actually you can see a difference in the players. It's not like when you have, you know, like a break tackle or some kind of other attribute that they play around with. You know, agility you kind of see as well, but it's certain attributes that have like empty calories. You know what I'm saying? Like with those power rushes and all the power moves and the dudes is getting blocked, just straight blocked up by 40 overall linemen. It's certain attributes that still don't matter because they tuned the game down from the beta and made it so that everybody can enjoy it instead of leaving it the way that it was. But that's not what this is about. If you have a theme team and it's Titans, you are going to be a very, very happy individual, even though they jipped this card major. Now, that could be a reason why they kept it that low in certain aspects because of the theme team aspect because you had the plus one, plus the three, that's 96 with Sprinter and John Madden coach, and then they know the theme team as the other two. So maybe they didn't wanna give Derrick Henry 99 speed because they didn't wanna break the game, plus we got golden tickets and all that stuff that'll be coming out later, so they wanna leave a little bit of room. My biggest issue is this, even if you jip him on the speed, because we saw his breakaway speed, even though he got ran down later in a couple of his big runs, we saw his breakaway speed. He should, he should be faster than a 92 speed, in my opinion because the man showed that he's just a unique individual. He's And also, Eric Dickerson himself said that he's taller than 6'3", so I don't know where the hype thing is, and he's just, he's just a freak of nature, is what I'm saying. This is what would have made me happy, right? Even if they want to jip him on the speed, I would say, all right, EA, you can have my moms later. But look, if you give him 99 trucking and 99 stiff arm, and maybe 96 break tackle that can be kept to 99, I have no complaints. I, like, all right, you give him 92 speed, whatever, all right, I'm good. But to give this man 92 trucking is disrespectful. To give him 90 break tackle is a joke because a lot of these other cards that don't, like they weren't even like, bro, you listen, with Bo Jackson, like I'm really, really aggravated right now just looking at the card, but Bo Jackson with his break tackle, all that stuff, whatever, great, good, good. We know back, Bo, ja Bo Jackson was also a freak of nature. So we're not really trying to compare. It's like apples and oranges. If this guy doesn't have, you know, that hip uh, injury, this guy, Bo Jackson, would have probably went on to be a lot, you know, a lot more 
uh, thought of as one of the top running backs ever to play the game. It was cut short. He was like a blip on our, on our radar. Baseball, football, all the things he was doing, he was like a blip. The dude, like you just think about theories of Bo Jackson. So I can't really use him as an example, but when we go down to here, right? Eric Dickerson was a, you know, he was a power back speed, all that stuff with it. The stuff, you know, break tackle, all that good stuff. I don't know realistically if you can say that he should have the same trucking as Derrick Henry though. Cause when you look at Derrick Henry, you don't want no problems. It's like this dude will walk into the club and then he'll just look at your girl and then you gotta, you know what I'm saying? He'll keep looking at her with his eyeballs open. You see like how he runs the ball? Just, just think about it. You ever look inside his helmet, like when they slow it down and you see his eyeballs, like how it's blazing out? Dude has huge eyeballs. Let's just say, for instance, he walks into the club and he's looking at your girl with his eyeballs just like, just, just like that, bro. Like somebody threw a lemon in his eyes and it's just wide open, right? What are the chances that you say something about it? Even if you, you know what I'm saying, you're ready to go. You're gonna think about it. Now, me personally, there's two people that I don't wanna fight ever. The Incredible Hulk when he's green, only when he's green, not when he's a sucker and he's like, you know, Banner or whatever his name is, you know, like the little tiny guy. I'll fight that dude. When you're green and, every, and you're exploding, like I don't care what part of the, the transformation process you want, I'm not fighting Incredible Hulk. And the second guy is Mike Tyson. Anybody else can get it. And I don't care that Mike Tyson is this old. I grew up in the area where Mike Tyson was very, very, yo, listen, that dude right there, dog, you don't want no parts of that kind of action. Those are the only two guys. Everybody else, let's get it on, bro. So this guy though, I would give him a second thought because the dude low key is bigger than everybody on the field every single week. How is it possible that he and Eric Dickerson would have the same trucking? I'm just saying, you know, I'm just using like certain, um, you know, regular, just, just ideal factors. If you look at both of their bodies, right? And then you got to also remember, Eric Dickerson is an elusive back by his archetype. So you're saying that this guy and this guy are pretty much the same. See, EA is just doing whatever they want. And they. this is why I understand your frustration, guys. I, like I said, I'm gonna break it down for why I was very annoyed looking at the card. I know some of you guys are going really, really wild, but again, it, it's, it, it's definitely something that we should speak about. Like, bro, like who is responsible for doing that? Because it's so low. That's the issue. If you get, I'm telling you right now, you can never make everyone happy, but you can make a lot of people happy. And if you just give them something that's realistic, that people will leave you alone. Like if you give them, like even if you gave them like 97 trucking and we knew we could kept, you know, we could kept it to 99. Many of us that are upset, like you guys that are going wild on all social media, let me know how disappointed you are on the card. I would be able to say to you guys, but yo, you can max that out to 99. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, don't worry, we got, bro, what am I gonna tell you right now? Well, you, I can't, bro, I can't really say anything about it. I can't justify it. I'm looking at it like, bro, okay. Like, what, what is this even about? So if you invested in the card and you, you know, you're like, yo, I got no other way to go. You could just continue to go and just say, you know what? 96 speed, I'm gonna have to deal with it, whatever. If you're not a Titan Steam team and just call it a day. Or you could just sell everything back off and see what's happening. We're going to take a look at all that now. But remember, that's the reason that most of us stayed away from Saquon. We're like, yo, what, what is EA doing? Is EA serious? Like, bro, you're going to give Saquon 96 speed. And granted, Saquon is the kind of running back where he'll have one run for like 80 yards and then have like another 20 for like three and a half. But still, when he breaks away, we know he's faster than what EA is saying he is. Like, you know, like we're not idiots. You know, some of us are, but you know, most of us aren't. Like you can't just do whatever you want to us and we're going to just say, all right, cool, you know? But again, it is what it is. I'm just going to let you guys know right now, I'm going to steer clear from it. I really wanted a card that I could use this is not usable in, in my opinion. It's not something that, um, it doesn't excite me at all. Yeah, we could go ahead and use power up passes and then try him out and see what he's about, but it, it's, it'll be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this card dropped in price so fast because the card was so bad. This 91 was up like 200 something, something K. You know what I'm saying? People realize now like what? Like you expect us to, to really go this route though? Like we're not doing that, but again, if it's something that you guys would want to dabble in, um, you know, you could check it out. But then again, with this guy, it would be kind of interesting though, because Bo Jackson, what we discovered is that Bo Jackson is so much better without abilities. So if we were to get this guy and not give him any abilities and just have him running around like an idiot, he probably would be a good back with just no abilities. Because, you know, he's like one of those trucking strongbacks. Once I took the abilities off of Bo Jackson, I actually like him again. So I don't know, maybe that'll be something that we could probably do. Remember, we do have a 95 overall power pass that we could use. 
you know, to kind of see what he's about and then just get rid of him. But that'll be up to you guys. I really, like, I'm really, really at, the, at this point right now, just disgusted with everything that goes on with the making and, and everything about his card. Even with everything that'll come later, it's no excuse why you don't give him higher trucking. Maybe a plus one more speed. At least make him a 97 speed. Make us happy, bro. You know, okay, we got the Super Bowl promo coming soon. Maybe that'll make a lot of us feel a little bit better about it. But this was just really, really out outrageous, man. It's just outrageous, dog. I I really, really wanted to, to actually use this card, man. I really wanted to do it. But at this point, I don't know if it's worth it. And if it's worth it for me to tell you guys, like, still go with it. But obviously, we wouldn't be spending anything on this. See, if you were going to do it, I would urge you guys to probably go ahead and use the, um, the power-up pass, if you guys have one, and just try them out and then see where it goes from there. But it's realistically not the smartest thing to do to buy this card at any time right now because it's realistically just not a good card it really it, it's decent based on what's available but it's not what we should have received if that makes sense you know what i'm saying like that that's just something that ea is like yo yo just hold this real quick we good and then that's it like I, no but you're not gonna treat us like that ea you're not gonna take us like ea took us to mickey d's when we were trying to go to the city and like sit down with tablecloths like with this card like nah bro like it's it's a limit to disrespect like we're not gonna do that so for me i'm going to avoid it you guys can do whatever you like though all right you guys if if you feel comfortable in doing that and and going after derrick henry and finishing it up that's something that you guys can go ahead and uh handle and see what goes on with that for me though i'm gonna have to stay away from it it's gonna have to be a no for me dog now as far as this goes uh with my 49er chem you guys should know right now i went away from the oakland raiders playbook and now I'm passing the ball a little bit more, so my offense is a little bit different. We are going to be adjusting the lineup. Lane Johnson is going to go sit back down at his right tackle position. We're probably going to move Larry Allen back. See, this guy, though, is going to be an issue. What is our go deep right now? Um, it's 31. All right, so that won't... We have to put somebody else there because um, we need this guy there. Lindstrom should be... Yeah, we're going to have to have Lindstrom back there. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing with this real quick. The number one thing, though, we got to... Who's going to be our right tackle? That's a 49er, though. We, I think we had one. That was a 49er. But we got to probably go back and get him again. Because I think I might have sold him for whatever reason. Probably because he was garbage, but not necessarily because of that. Uh, or maybe we used a tight end. We could have used a tight end in place of um, uh, the third slot. Because we don't really, obviously, we don't really need the third slot. Um, was that what we did? Was there a tight end that uh, had 49er cam that we had there? Yeah, this idiot. All right, so we're going to put this guy there. Um, we're going to go and we're going to put Delaney Walker here. Where's Delaney Walker? We're going to put him there. And then we're going to put George Kittle as the starter. And then we're going to put Lane Johnson back and put everything back. Everything should be uh, the same maxed out for everything else that's going on. Because like I said, that is the you you want to put him at tight end. If you guys are running um, an offense that consists of wild and ridiculous actions, like how I was doing it with the Oakland playbook, you're going to want to keep that guy uh, at, the, at the tight end position because there's so many different sets that you can manipulate to put him on the outside. But if you're not doing that and that's not your thing, then it doesn't make any sense to do it any other way. Um, so I just, just wanted to say that. Okay, so this guy is there. I got to put my other guy back there, though. All right, so this guy, Mike Pearson has to actually get raid sold to be honest. All right, so this guy's going back. Also, Chris Lindstrom, he has a 99 impact block, 99, a 96 lead block, 99 impact block, or something like that, or 99 lead block, and a 96 impact block. So that's why he's useful to us on the team. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about so you guys understand why he goes out there. If you run the ball, you would probably be happy that you did the rookie premiere program in, um, in Madden 19 and you got this card for free because he's a monster. All right, so 96 impact block, and I believe he has 99 lead block. So those things, when you put him out there, he's going to go crazy. He, yeah, there it goes, 99 lead block. He just goes crazy. He's a hidden gem. So he's definitely there to stay. Now, um, as far as everything else goes, Larry Allen can just stay there right now because I don't think we need another spot because the 49er chem should still be good. Yeah, 25 or 30. Go deep is still good. Power run is still good. So everybody is still good. We just have to now get rid of the other guard that we had there as a backup. 
because uh, we don't need him anymore. And the reasoning behind the 49ers camp, obviously T.O., Randy Moss, all these guys running around with ridiculous numbers, 99 speed here, 99 speed there, pick your moms up at eight, do or there. Like, it's really, really crazy. So those are the primary reasons for why, um, you know, I had my lineup the way it was there before is simply because with the Oakland Raiders playbook, we can manipulate and put people where they're not supposed to be uh, at the tight end position and just use uh, Lane Johnson's crazy blocking to just make him OP. All right, so overall, guys, we just did a couple adjustments. If you guys want to see some action uh, with Derrick Henry, let me know. But I really just don't want to go that route because I just feel that EA really, really dropped the ball uh, with this one right here. I want to see what you guys are saying. Please take it easy with the rage. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.